Oh, no. The dishwasher, she smelled very bad. I don't know what wrong. I smelled something funny in the kitchen. And then the dishwasher had little bits of smoke come out. And, and it smelled very bad. I need to call my friend, Handyman Hank. Handyman Hank, you came. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, well, what seems the problem, Ruby? Um, we, I had the dishwasher running, and, and it, it started to smell really bad, and I couldn't shut it off. Oh, that doesn't sound good. We better have a look at that. Oh, would you? Oh, that'd be so nice. Yeah, I think that's nice. Oh, uh, well, yeah, thanks. So. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I should get started on that. Okay, you get started. Well, all right, I guess the first thing we should do is look inside. What do you guys think? Well, let's have a look here. Hey, what are you two guys doing in there? Um, it's just us, uh, Gumby and Mr. Bill. Well, you two guys get out of there. I gotta fix this thing. Well, it's nice and toasty warm in here, though. Uh, I think I want to stay, don't you, Mr. Bill? No! All right, all right, enough of that. You guys get out of there. Uh, well, I think, guys, be between you and me, I think it's the control panel behind here because that's where the smell's coming from, right inside there. And so, um, I think the bad news is this dishwasher's had it. It's uh, 18 years old, even though it looks pretty good. It's a Kenmore Elite. And apparently, a while ago, these, this model had a problem with that control panel getting too hot and burning up. But I don't know that's the problem. Let's have a look and see what it looks like in there. So we're going to take some um, bolts out of the inside panel. And it takes kind of a special tool. Um, it's a star drive, but it's a pretty small one. So I'll show you what that looks like when we take those out. All right, so that's all the bolts taken out, and this panel may just lift off. We'll see. I haven't done this before. Let's see how this works. Oh, there we go. So the front part came off. And it just lifts up and, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's, that's this part out. Hopefully you saw what I just did there. I just lifted the front panel off. By the way, for everybody watching, um, I did turn the uh, the circuit breaker off to the dishwasher. Hopefully you have a circuit breaker, separate one that you can turn off. So do that first. Turn off the circuit breaker. All right, so now we're looking at um, the inside, and obviously here's the wires going up to the control panel. So what I'm gonna do is try to get this part off up here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So now I'm just sort of wiggling this and, and it comes right off. So my guess is, I don't know if you can see it now, but this is the control panel here and I'm guessing this is the bit that's fried. Let me get a better shot for you. All right, so this is a little easier to see. It just came off of here. That's where we were looking just a second ago. And that's the control panel and there's probably some fried bits in there that I can I can just see down in there. there's a little dark color to it that might explain the smell but let's get this unhooked and we'll get it away from here because it really smells bad in the kitchen here all right so we're just gonna go ahead and start unplugging things some of this may just lift off of here I don't know this this part is a switch that's the door handle switch I hope you can see that right here and that might just lift off of there. Oh, I see. It's got a little clip these things. There we go. So that's off. And these wires here are fried right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's black right there. So we're going to unplug these.
the rest of these are all plugs that have an orientation to them, so I'm just going to be pulling them out of here. There we go. And slip. I hope it comes out of there like that. Just broke a tab off of it. So there we go. Now if you can see this, but this is probably the issue right here. And uh, I don't know if it comes out of here, but oh, there it is right there. You can see. <laughs> All right, so here we are looking at this panel again. And right down in here, see that big burn hole? Big old scorch mark right there. So clearly this electronic panel is shot. Now I looked online to see if there was even replacements for it, which I'm not inclined to do because that's not good when it's gotten that hot. The rest of the circuits are going to have been challenged. So better just to replace the whole dishwasher when we find that. But there is what it looks like down inside. I'm just glad we didn't have a fire because it looks like it was ready to do a little bit of damage. All right, so do we wonder what went on? <laughs> not really anymore. Can you see all those scorch marks down in there? That's pretty obvious that that's what was happening. Now, let me turn it over and it'll be even more obvious. So, I took it out of this little box here and that is bad. I don't know if you get a close up here of this, but that surface is totally destroyed there. In fact, I'm going to say that caught on fire right there. And here's the inside of the box. You can see that it is completely destroyed and it's made this plastic kind of crispy. See what I'm doing there? So I saw a um, couple of posts on the web about the fact that fires had started in the control panels of these dishwashers and I can see how and where. Now I wish I could tell you which one of the components was the culprit. It does appear to be something right here but on you look on the other side and really if there was something there it's completely destroyed now it's right down here if you can see that there we go that's a little better so if there was something there it's it's shot so there might have been but it's also very scorched around the plugs here which doesn't make too much sense they shouldn't really do that but you know there you go so not sure what happened, but it is definitely toast, and it smells bad. It smells like burnt varnish. If you've ever smelled that in an electrical system that has gotten too hot, and I had to take this out of the dishwasher so that um, it wouldn't smell up the kitchen. So now it's smelling up my shop. <laughs> Anyhow, that is the culprit right there. Yep, that's pretty burned up. Anyhow, let's uh, continue on with this project. How many customers record what we do all day long? So, what? Care so here we go. Here's the new one. Underneath. Underneath. Underneath the new one. There we go. Dirty shoes on and never tried anything. I almost got famous. I got a lot of likes and a lot of videos. <laughs> Games, right. uh, you guys can say, hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> hey, YouTube. We are the dishwasher guys. <laughs> the dishwasher guys love it. <laughs> Here's the box it's in. And there it is. Oh, wow. Strong. <laughs> okay, so this is our old dishwasher. It's an 08, which makes it... No, it's not an OE, it's older than that. It's um, 18 years old, which means it's an OE. We got it um, from the show the store at Sears Kenmore. It lasted 18 years. And it's going uh, to Appliance Heaven. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that's assuming this appliance has behaved itself and you know it's not on the naughty list or something but uh, well it gave up so it's on the naughty list. <laughs> they're, probably, they're probably turning into um, a toaster a toaster there we go i like it <laughs> so we'll have a funeral song here as the uh, dishwasher goes off to appliance heaven <laughs> yeah, 
sing, doing taps for it. Yeah. Would you like to see a final word? You have been a faithful dishwasher. We appreciate all your service. Good night, dear we Prince. Appreciate it after washing dishes for two weeks. In dishes, <laughs> In dishes we trust. In dishes we trust. It was in the trailer park because he was a veteran. And they didn't have um, water to sink to wash dishes. So she put it, the dirty dishes in a drawer and then take them over. And I to flood them for a couple of days and then take them over to this other place and have water. Do that. Got a plug. Oh, is, it, is it hardware? Yeah, it is, hardware. isn't it? Yes, sir. There, there it is, fully installed. Hooray! But look here. Uh oh. We'll have to fix that. That drawer doesn't want to open because it hits. Can you see? So. We'll have a couple of ways we can deal with that. But that may be for another video. For right now, we have a new dishwasher. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Bye.